whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and I set it up, I set it upon the mantelpiece, and I and went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. When they first said daddy, my heart was molten as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun with thaw and slop and they were inseparable always together one soul and two bodies and my love was all consuming I would die for you I whispered to their sleeping faces I would kill I would set this world to ruin to protect you I have fought through dark tunnels great engines the foulest of beasts I have set my covenant and drained this flood and I am come for you now, my darling boys. I killed his kids. I'd like to know. bastard has been here too. This is the epicenter of his meddlings. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstruction, and then I will render this sabotage impotent once and for all.
guess there's something wrong I need. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor. But we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Step. Oh, I see. I had to open that for these to go down. That's all I needed to do. are all done. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. setting free. Okay, I guess I'll find out. I breathe again! 
I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. set to a new task can a man defined by his actions defined by that which he now finds abhorrent set to sabotaging this body his machine until as children of his soul turn in a new motion and he may awake to a new sun a new year a new century with hope in his heart as I reach my hands to the exposed wires I ask myself this is redemption possible for such a creature as I and if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Though it is done, the saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. Where are my children? Why do you ask, Landis? Mm -hmm. Oh, no.